The Hawke and Owl Trust is assisting in parts of a six-point plan initiated by the government to restore the population of English hen harriers, which are close to extinction as a breeding species. The hen harrier is an elegant bird of prey that frequents the heather uplands of northern England. The male is spectacularly beautiful with its silver grey plumage and black primaries. The female is larger and her plumage is an overall chocolate brown. She has a white patch on her rump and her tail is barred with darker bands. The hen harrier is a controversial bird because over a short period in the summer amongst other prey items it kills red grouse chicks to feed its young and this has brought it into conflict with those who intensively manage the moors for driven grouse shooting. The population of breeding hen harriers in England has fluctuated wildly over the last 20 years. In 2013 it was extinct as a breeding bird. This year 2016, there were only three breeding pairs. Scientists tell us that the heather moorlands of northern England could support 250 to 300 pairs. As part of this recovery plan, Natural England, on behalf of the Hawke and Owl Trust, have recently satellite tagged two juvenile hen harriers, a male and a female, from the Scottish borders, literally a stone's throw from England. A Hawke and Owl trustee watched as Stephen Murphy from Natural England adjusted the harness carrying the satellite tag. It is thought that the information gained would improve our understanding of harrier dispersal from their natal areas. Their dispersal across the heather uplands and their communal roost sites in winter where they suffer from increased persecution. Stephen Murphy sets the satellite tag on a 1048 pattern it will record for 10 hours and then recharge over the next 48 hours in daylight. The satellite data received when the tagged harriers have left their natal area will be displayed on this website where you'll be able to follow the fortunes of the juvenile hen harriers which have been named Rowan and Sorrel.